Hi, let's talk about one of my favorite processes, which is phagocytosis performed by our phagocyte. So when a microbe enters the body, um, this is our microbe in purple right here. It came into the body and it's releasing these chemicals, which is gonna be our little blue dots. So the microbe's releasing this chemical into the extracellular fluid and the phagocyte is gonna sense this chemical um, if it's around and it's going to perform something that's called chemotaxis. And I think about it as like a chemical taxi to the microbe. So it's sensing these chemicals in the environment and it's gonna draw the phagocyte towards the microbe. So when the phagocyte goes to where the microbe is, it can adhere to the microbe. And that's what you're seeing here. And it extends its pseudopods, which is an extension of its cellular membrane to enclose around the, the microbe, excuse me, and engulf it, ingest it actually into its body. So once the pseudopods are wrapped around the microbe and it brings it into its body, it's gonna be in this little pod and this is gonna be now considered a phagosome that has the microbe in, in it. A lysosome is gonna come out and the lysosome has digestive enzymes in it. And the lysosome is actually going to fuse with the phagosome and now it's going to be considered our phagolysosome and it's going to release those digestive enzymes onto the microbe into the microbe and it's going to actually digest that microbe and so as the digestive enzymes are ripping apart and dismantling this microbe it's actually going to kill it that's the final phase there um, so after it's done and killed, there might be some extra stuff left over, um, but it's not going to be able to cause the body any harm because we've completely euthanized the microbe, and this is phagocytosis.